In the following genome demonstration, we'll be selecting faces by camera angle and we'll be culling them with a delete mesh. We have a scene with a couple of geometry objects and a camera looking at them and we we'll, would like to select the faces facing away from the camera. So we'll add the genome modifier to one of the objects, switch it to face iteration mode, press Ctrl O to create an output node with face selection channel, press Shift 10 to create a face normal input, Control R to reorder automatically, and now we'll press to camera in order to transform this normal into camera space. It's automatically set to normal space and uses the first camera it finds in the scene. And before that, we'll transform it into world space in order to take into account any transformations of the object itself. We are going to take the Z component of uh, the normal and we'll compare if it's less than a scalar value of zero, which means negative Z component of the normal will select the face because it's facing away from the camera. If we would start rotating the camera, you'll see that the face selection is dynamically changing. We can grab this modifier and instance it on the other objects in the scene. If we select all these objects and start rotating the camera again, the selection will update dynamically on each of them. Let's add a delete mesh on top of the stack. This will delete the selected faces. And once again, we can instance that modifier to the other objects in order to curl all the faces of all the scene objects that the camera is looking at. As we rotate the camera, the back faces are being removed. Let's uh, open the Magma Editor once again and introduce a floating point number as a threshold. We'll expose it to the user interface and now we can decide how far we want to go. Going against 1, we'll remove pretty much all the faces. Going to 0, we'll remove only the back faces. If we disable the delete mesh and take a look at the selection, you see that uh, on some of the objects, even at a value of 0, some of the faces are being seen incorrectly. This is because we're using the parallel projection of the camera and not a ray to each face from the position of the camera. At wide angles, objects that are on the side of the cone are going to be selected incorrectly. We have another scene which has a similar setup, but in this case the genome modifier is taking the face center of each face and it's uh, creating a ray that goes from the camera position to each face and uses a dot product with the face normal to decide whether the face will be selected or not. So now we can see that all the faces on all the objects are correctly selected on the back side and there is no leaking um, on, for example, the sphere which is on the side of the camera cone and normally would leak in the other example.